hi everybody happy friday i hope everyone is having a great day and a fabulous start to the weekend um, i'm just here today to come and share a little mini journal that i've been playing around with i was working on this late last night i was just in a bit of a <laughs> in a bit of a little bit of a craft funk and i just couldn't i've got a couple of projects going and i just couldn't seem to get moving on the ones that I was actually working on. So I just had to kind of change gears and um, I started on something completely, completely different. Um, I just started on this last night and uh, it, it took me a few hours to make, but um, it's just a, it's a mini journal. It's really small. It's, um, let's see here really quickly what it measures. I probably should have done this first. It measures about four and a sixteen or four and one eighths wide, inches wide by four and seven eighths inches tall. And I used a box, a recycled box for the cover. And the um, the spine measures about one and three quarters. It's got five signatures, and I did do the Daisy Runner stitch for the binding, and uh, it's got 106 pages in it, and I was just um, just coming to share it with you all. I thought it was cute. I thought I really liked the way it turned out, especially the cover, um, but I thought I'd come and share it with you guys, and then um, also wanted to announce my, um, my very first sale over at my Etsy shop. Yay! <laughs> I, got, I told you all about the sale in a previous video. Um, my shop finally hit 1,000 sales a couple weeks back, and I was pretty excited about that. So I'm having a customer appreciation sale. And so there's 25% um, there's, uh, off uh, your purchase of $15 or more. And um, the coupon code I will list below, it's uh, HAPPY1000. So you can just enter that code um, upon checkout and get your 25% your off. Um, however, the code is not eligible for journals or journal kits. I, I did tell you that I was gonna be putting up some kits. So should those go up before the sale ends, which is gonna be, on the 19th, um, it, it won't be eligible on the kits, but I did um, want to let you guys um, know that that was active, so it, it's um, ready to go now. So if you guys are interested, you can head on over to the shop. I'll be sure to list the um, uh, shop link below in the description box, and you can um, go and check out some fun items over there. I've got a lot of new stuff coming in, so I'm really excited about that, and I am hoping to be able to get it um, listed, hopefully relatively quickly. Um, listings kind of take a little while. A brand new listing kind of takes a little bit, so because I've been so limited on, on time lately, um, I'm, I am hoping to be able to get most of that stuff listed relatively soon. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, we'll just go ahead and go on into the journal because I don't want to get cut off. <laughs> so um, again, it's just a little mini journal. It's made from a box. I've covered the box in um, black craft or black cardstock, excuse me. And I just decorated it up um, with a few uh, heart dies that I've um, stickled around the edges there. There's a little rose that I made out of a flower punch, some leaves, a um, little bit of lace there. I punched that little ticket out and just stamped it with notes. I fashioned a little tag and topped it off with some organza ribbon and a button. There's a doily there, and then um, I did just wrap the covers uh, with some of this crochet cotton trim, lace trim, so, and it wraps all the way around the inside as well. Okay, and it's got 106 pages. So there's, um, it's very simple. Like I said, it was just something really quick for me. I just felt like playing. So there's little, um, let me grab a little ticket here. <laughs> There's a little text spot there. 
here's uh, just a little die cut that I did there. There's a couple of paper clips in here. There's a little flip out. There's another little ticket there. Put some washi tape and then this is another little tuck spot here. This is such a fun size. I just, um, I had all these uh, end cuts of all this paper here and I was just going through my scraps and I thought I'll make a little book out of that. Might as well put it to some use, right? Here's a little, um, uh, just a little journaling spot that I cut out with my heart spell binders. I did some punching with the Martha Stewart Lacey Edge Punch. I love these, this paper with the cherries. It's so cute. Here's another little tuck spot here. Another flip out there. Here's a little journaling card and I just topped that off with um, some little Prima flowers, a button, and then this red feather here. And then I just, um, it's, it's uh, stained on the back there. There's another little pocket here. That tag is blank. Just a cute little, cute little book to maybe keep by the bedside, write some little thoughts or ideas. Here's another little um, die cut. I was, um, this was just in like a little scrap pile. I was trying to run this die cut through my Sizzix machine, but I had some old, like you know, really old cutting plates, and um, it didn't get a good cut, so it didn't cut all the way through. But I didn't want to throw it away because I loved the image, so I just threw it in my little, um, my little junk pile, my scrap junk pile, and thought I'd stick it in here. And then there, I, <laughs> I tried stamping on the paper after I'd already put it, um, stitched the signatures into the book, and it just didn't get a good impression. So, oh well, what do you do? There's another little tuck spot there, little pocket. There's another little tag. I love this paper collection. It's so pretty. I haven't taken this one out in such a long time. I hate when I get stumped on a project, you guys. It drives me crazy. Here's a little paper clip that I just made out of some Prima flowers, some buttons, and um, a little bit of hemp cord. And then there's a little ticket that I just stamped my thoughts on. There's a flip out there. It's a little envelope. There's another little side loading pocket there. A little flip out and the back cover. And then there's, you can see the um, trim that's just wrapped around the inside of the cover there. So that's my little um, spur of the moment project that I had to just kind of <laughs> do to get my mind jump started again. Um, Kickstart the creativity flow, I guess you could say. So um, now hopefully I can get started uh, back on my personal swap that I am doing with my very special friend, Angie Bunner. I, she's been so patient with me. Um, I, we've agreed to do a, a private swap uh, uh, quite some time ago, and I just have not had time to, um, you know, dedicate uh, to working on that swap regularly like I would like. So 
Um, and again, like I said, I fall into these slumps where I can't get motivated on one certain project. So I have to go on to another one and just kind of get my mind, you know, those creative juices flowing again. <laughs> you Sometimes you just have to switch gears and then you can go back. So anyhow, um, once I am completely with or have finished completing her journal I'll be sure to come and share that with you I'm super excited about that swap with her um, you guys all know that she is a fabulous artist who um, makes some of the most beautiful things and so I am really excited to she's already finished her journal she finished it a long time ago because she's just uh, incredible <laughs> she can she can really just you know pound out those journals like nobody's business she's kind of like Yvonne White when it comes to that stuff so Yvonne I have no idea girl how you can make so many journals so quickly your new challenge is daunting <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, I, I was thinking about it and there is just no way that I could make five journals in one week. I don't know how you do it. You, um, the mind reels thinking about how you create because it just, I don't know how you move so quickly on those journals and they still turn out so super gorgeous. But anyhow, uh, kudos to you for that. I wish that I had that talent because, um, man, I would just love to be able to create so quickly and so beautifully. Um, but I just, I just can't. <laughs> Anyhow, everybody, I hope you guys all have a fabulous weekend. I hope you like my little tiny journal here. It was a lot of fun to create. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys over at the shop. Like I said, um, the sale starts today, which is Friday. And it's going to be going on through the 19th. And you will receive 25% um, off of your purchase of $15 or more. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all over there. I hope everybody has a safe weekend. And we will talk to you all soon. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Bye.